This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right, so we got Takeoff's mom. She's taking the bowling alley to court um, over the death of her son. Someone's got to pay, right? Um, tragedy at Takeoff shooting death was uh, led to his mother. Uh, filing a wrongful death suit against the owners of the Houston 810 Billiards and Bowling. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, claims no adequate security on the premises. See, there, this is going to ultimately end up where, you know, Jay Prince's family is kind of liable because it was their event. <laughs> Uh, J. Prince nor suspects implicated in Takeoff's death were named in the lawsuit. The suit details 20 instances of negligence on the property. Uh, a tragic loss of profound impact on um, loved ones. Yeah, it, what's going to have to happen is like they're going to take the bowling alley to court. Then they're going to have to, yeah, the bowling alley is going to have to react and take J. Prince's family to court. We'll see. We'll see how that works out. Oprah um, is bringing some like weight loss company to court for using her name, which they shouldn't. But I'm going to be honest with you. Oprah's been part of many weight loss programs, and she's never, it's like Khaled, you know. It's not very believable, but, you know, Oprah is able to sell a lot of things. People will just buy things with Oprah's name on it. So I understand her uh, taking them to court. <laughs> Jay-Z gets his money. He gets his $7.2 million payment that that uh, was a perfume company owed him. Um, he can finally, let's see, there's a seven-year uh, legal battle of Parlu fragrances. He kind of took, him, took them to court when they took him to court, saying that he's not doing what he's supposed to with their promotional obligations. So he was like, well, you haven't paid me my residuals so <laughs> and then here we are <laughs> they have to pay that probably plus his legal fees Tory Lanes and DaBaby are being accused of trying to ambush Meg Thee Stallion's uh, performance in 2021 Tory's attempts to harass Meg after the shooting and extended far beyond jabs he made on his songs and on Twitter and on Instagram the baby decided to loan Tori as Rolling Loud 2020. Come on, man. Let's put this to bed. This is this is enough. Enough, man. Like nobody, nobody. You know, like come on. This is this is getting ridiculous. I'm not even gonna entertain this. Uh, then we had. Uh, 1501 had to react to uh, Meg taking them to court, claiming uh, they failed her as an artist by collaborating with Kelsey Nicole. Wow. And her husband, Darian Smith, claim they have another employee with the same name as Darian. Uh, Meg Thee Stallion's accusing former label of failing her by uh, collaborating with her ex-bestie, Kelsey Nicole and Tory Lanez on diss tracks. I mean, she went against them by hiring Rock Nation and all this other stuff. <sighs> I hate to say it, man, but she just doesn't seem like a great person. Because she wouldn't be in the position she's in without this guy investing money in her. It's just a plain fact. And she kind of went behind his back and tried to get out of the deal. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of people doing that to people. Um, 50 Cent reveals he was only paid 17000 per episode for power until it became a big thing. Um, I think this is also in response to like Omari saying, you know, the ghost <clears throat> saying that, oh, I wasn't really paid on power. I wasn't paid till after power. I mean, 50 Cent took a a loss to make something he really wanted to make this so bad that he was willing to take very little money to make it happen you know he needed to pay be paid for some of his time but he says i get paid more for walking a club and waving um you know a lot of people uh had the chance to pick this up and they passed on it so stars picked it up and it became a hit 
and I took a lot, you know, ever I think everyone took a hit on the money in the beginning and became a obviously a hit series. Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I appreciate you all. And I'll check you guys in the next one. Uh, smash that like button. Peace.